We were very famous for the French onion soup. I didn't know how to make French onion soup, so we hired a chef and we had a discussion, well, we have to bake it with cheese. What kind of cheese do we use? He said, I don't know. The first thing, the crocks were round, so we used provolone cheese because it was round. And then we looked through our Bay Marie and we found uh, some Swiss cheese. After we made it, he said, well, we can't serve it like this. We have to bake it and brown the top. I said, well, I, we don't have an oven. We go, all we have is a flat top for the burgers. So I ran home and I got my toaster oven for my kitchen and we start baking them off in my toaster oven. I'm Herb Spivak, and in 1972, uh, I, my, I and my brothers created a restaurant chain called H.A. Winston & Company. One day, Herbie said to me, look, I'm going to open up this restaurant at Front & Chestnut. It's going to be a hamburger joint. We're going to grind the meat fresh. We're going to have a little grill there. We'll have some drinks. It's going to be a, a real casual place. And from that point on, a miracle happened. It succeeded. That led to opening up a second restaurant a year later in Bryn Mawr. In 1973, Bryn Mawr opened. 1975, opened a restaurant of 15th and Locust. 1976, a restaurant was opened in Cherry Hill. And in 1977 or 78, another restaurant was opened in Jenkintown. And then after that, a restaurant was opened as a franchise in Wilmington, Delaware. There were two main items on the menu. It was the burgers, the French onion soup. They were great. The prices were unbelievably inexpensive. Buck 95 for a six ounce burger. You know, a buck and a quarter for an onion soup and all of four dollars, you can be a sport. Since I was not a restaurateur or a food connoisseur, I chose hamburgers. We had 16 different toppings that you could choose. Uh, to give you an idea of the assortment of toppings which were on the burgers were sauteed mushrooms, peppers and onions, uh, American cheese, bacon, lettuce, and tomato, provolone and marinara, uh, sauerkraut, sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, and Russian dressing, a chili and chopped onions, sour cream and caviar. We opened our first Winston February 2nd, 1972. We closed around 1992. We lost some popularity. I start favoring the music business to the food business. It was a good date place. People still come to me and tell me I met my wife there, we went out for our first dinner there, and so forth and so on. And it's a lot of uh, good memories that people bring up to me uh, that they remember H.A. Winston and company.